Yo, what's up everybody, JDG here and welcome back to another Combat Sports Reaction video here today. And today, as you can tell about today's title, we have UFC 274, Oliveira vs. Gaethje, Told You I Wasn't Scared, Extended Promo. Shout out to Kai Films for the video. So, we have a very interesting main event coming this Saturday at UFC 274. We have the current champion, Charles Oliveira, facing... The firework in Justin Gaethje. They have two very different styles, right? Justin Gaethje is dynamite, very unpredictable, willing to brawl, has a brawling style, and surprisingly doesn't use his Division I level college wrestling very often. He doesn't really attempt takedowns. He sticks to the striking. On the other hand, we have Charles Oliveira, who I would add, has a very good chin. And what he is very good at that is very rare for fighters is coming back after being significantly damaged. He did it against Michael Chandler and he did it against Dustin Poirier, defeating them both after times of peril. He doesn't get flustered by it. He's able to recover from these significantly damaging moments. When he gets dropped, he can get up and he can come back and hurt you. He, is, he isn't compromised by that. At least enough to an extent to where he can't hurt you. That's going to be a problem for Justin Gaethje if he's not careful. Charles Oliveira is very good all around. He can box very well. We've seen him outbox a couple times, which is going to help Gaethje if he can put his lights out. Right? If Oliveira even exposes him, himself enough. But he's very good with the jiu-jitsu. He's a black belt. Probably world-class Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. That's not going to be good for Gaethje. He took Dustin Poirier out standing. He took his back, choked him out. He's good. He's dangerous everywhere. Everywhere. So, this is going to be a very interesting fight. And I'm very intrigued to see this promo. But before we begin, no, any less good, I appreciate it. Hit that like button. Turn on bell notifications to stay updated with yours truly. And if you're a new and you enjoy and you mess with the kid, make sure to hit that sub button. Because once you become part of the family forever. But let's now waste any more time. Screen. See this promo. Once I get to fight, then I'll have more to say. We're gonna bang, don't get it wrong, but you're out of your league on this one, buddy. 20 seconds left in round two. Can Johnson survive? No, he cannot! I mean, when we were talking about Justin Gaethje, we were talking about probably the most exciting lightweight fighter in the world, if not the most exciting fighter ever. When he started in the UFC, the level of competition he faced was nothing but elite. I mean, he fought Michael Johnson, Eddie Alvarez. Oh, down goes Gaethje! Gaethje might be out! That's it! That is it! I'm the underground king, Eddie Alvarez! Unbelievable! Dustin Poirier. Gaethje nearly out on his feet. Oh. Poirier continues to land! Press right now, but, but what do you think you, you do next? I mean, coming up two losses, that's hard to say, but you want to see me fight. Thank you, man. It's your last main event. You're about to be on three fight losing streak. Not one of my fights. You, you lost two out of three. You fucking suck. Oh! Big right from Gaethje and down oh! goes Vic. Justin Gaethje is back. I take everything personal. I took everything he said personal, and I'm glad I put him to sleep. Edson Barbosa. Oh! She's definitely dynamite. Definitely. Yeah, very, very explosive strikes. Kicks and punches the like. I don't care who I fight. I'll take Tony Ferguson next. That's for damn sure. I'll, I'll love to fight him. We finally have the news. The headline, the official fight to main event UFC 249 is going to be Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje for the interim lightweight championship. That's it! Oh, Justin Gaethje! He literally beat the living shit out of Tony Ferguson. That was one of the worst beatings I've ever seen. Legitimately. He beat the shit out of him. Tony's never been the same since. He never has, never will be. The life changing aspect of him, honestly. You know, I'm happy to represent the United States of America against Dagestan, Russia's best. Habib Nurmagomedov is going to be playing Justin Gaethje on October 24th. Hey, trying to choke by Nurmagomedov. Habib Nurmagomedov! The eagle rises again! He chokes Justin Gaethje to sleep. And 
and kill! It's finally official. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler is happening for UFC 268. I cannot believe we got to the final That was position. a great fight. Great fight. Wow, what a fight. Justin Gaethje and Michael Chandler now connected forever. Justin, congratulations. We, we knew it was going to be a war. The winner of December, I will be stepping in there, and I will be pushing you everywhere and anywhere. Hopefully it's Oliveira in Brazil. I don't give a f Charles Dubronx Oliveira has come a long way. He's had his ups and downs, but he proved that if you keep believing in yourself, everything is possible. And I don't have an overarching point. I have an observation. Because when I see Charles Oliveira, I see something special. I see a very special talent. Wins over Clay Guida. This is terrible. This is the talent. Charles Oliveira by submission. Jim Miller. There's the talent. Nick Lentz. Oh! Big right from Oliveira. Hammer fist. Nick Lentz is down. Charles Duprox Oliveira. Kevin Lee. Time. Oh, gonna watch that neck. Kevin Lee. Oliveira forces the tap. Charles Oliveira. Tony Ferguson. But I think he just keeps getting better. I think that's what we're seeing. <laughs> he, he just is. keeps getting better. He is. He is. I mean, this is Agreed. Great. He's dead. What you just did to Tony Ferguson was truly amazing. Who's next? Habib Nurmagomedov has just officially retired completely. The fight is going to be between Charles Oliveira and Michael Chandler. My humility is always the same. It's my moment. It's my hour. There's no way to deny it. I'm one of the best in the world. I'm ready. The belt's gonna be mine. Oh! Knocked out for Oliveira now! Goes Oliveira! Oh! Is the oh! 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 champ now. He's a champ now, folks. No! Charles Oliveira versus Dustin Pori is targeted for December 11th. win over Dustin Poirier and still! he's the best I know you don't normally like to say you know who's the number one contender but you said coming in like hey Justin Gaethje's definitely next so as we sit here Justin Gaethje definitely next yeah it makes sense it's gonna be interesting very contrasting styles I know you don't normally like to say, you know, who's the number one contender, but you said coming in like, hey, Justin Gaethje's definitely next. So as we sit here, Justin Gaethje definitely next. Yeah, it makes sense. Justin Gaethje is arguably the hardest hitting 155 pounder to ever have set foot inside the octagon. Oliveira has the tools to beat Gaethje with his crisp striking, his jiu-jitsu, his durability and his experience have all accumulated and turned him into the lightweight champion of the world. Everything he does is perfect. His jiu-jitsu is perfect, his striking is perfect. And that's the difference between Oliveira and these guys. It's like they're all really good standing up. He's really good standing up. So there's kind of like an even playing field. But when that motherfucker gets a hold of you, you're in deep danger. Yeah, Terrifying correct. danger where you can't make any mistakes. It's Oliveira is something special. You know, Justin Gaethje prides himself on being the most entertaining fighter in mixed martial arts. I do believe he would have always gone down as certainly the most entertaining man in MMA, but as one of the elite lightweights of his era. But now there's no doubt. Is he telling the truth? That's what's more compelling to me because if anybody has learned how to play the media and get a headline during the last year, it is Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje is a monster. He's a terrifying individual. He is, I mean, in a sport that's violent, it's an inherently violent sport. He stands out as the most violent. 
the fight that we knew that was going to get announced has finally been announced. Charles Oliveira is going to be fighting Justin Gaethje on May 7th for UFC 274. This is potentially the most lethal fight in the lightweight division. We have one of the scariest strikers versus the scariest submission artist. And there was a lot of talk before this fight, man, especially from Justin Gaethje. Battle on, slap right on an undisputed lightweight title, and there's so many good storylines going into it. And it looks like it's about to go down in the lightweight division. Charles Oliveira will defend his title for the second time against the highlight Justin Gaethje. I really like this fight. I remember it being an ounce and yeah. thinking, oh, fight. He's just going to break you freaking down. He was always known just for being tough. He's gotten wiser. He's gotten smarter. He's gotten to that place in life more desperate. Whatever, more urgent. Whatever you want to call it. But he got there. You don't want Charles trying to make you take you to the ground. Justin has to make sure he stops that. I want to see Gaethje utilizing his wrestling as much as possible. Justin Gaethje is the man who presents the most dangerous challenge to his title reign. We are also going to find out who will break the other guy down over the course of five rounds. My first instinct is to create a car crash and be the object with the most force. I'm the champion. I proved it once I'm the champion. And I don't, I don't care. I come here and I do it. I'm the champion. I have this belt. I'm going to keep defending it. I don't care what people say. I'm going to do me. Vem, mas vem você vem sem entender nada porque nós tá pronto. Charles is coming. Come prepared because I'm coming. I was born and I was bred and I was raised to do this. Told you I wasn't scared. Ladies and gentlemen, the human highlight, Justin Gaethje! I just love it way too much, and I will do it till the wheels fall off. There's only one Justin Gaethje. Charles Oliveira, ladies and gentlemen! It is finally, finally, finally what you find. I'm a world champion. I'm the man. They talk, I do it. No, I love these kind of fights. When you have two of the baddest dudes in the world in their prime, they sing off for the world title, nothing gets better than this. I would love to fight y'all over here, but I will show you what I'm saying to the clear. I'm so proud to represent the United States of America against Brazil's top martial artist. It is a long time coming for all the marbles. It's finally here. It's going to be a good one, folks. I'll tell you that. If Oliveri can win against Gaethje, I am not sure who else in this division can beat him. Only one way to find out, and now, now we know. Stylistically, this fight is unbelievable. Alright, folks. That is all. That is all. Alright. I want to get my two cents on this matchup. It's a very, very intriguing one, I might add. Alright, so first of all, I'd like to say, in an alternate reality, I wished... We just could have seen Khabib face Oliveira, you know? That would have been a very, very interesting matchup to see him face against this version of Oliveira. We'll never get to see that, unfortunately. It is what it is. So in this matchup, what's problematic for Gaethje is that he's naturally extremely ferocious and somewhat reckless at times, right? That's going to be to his detriment against someone like Oliveira. He just needs one opening. You're done. He's good from every avenue of mixed martial arts. He's well-rounded everywhere. Now, Gaethje's clearly going to be in the most advantageous position in a striking exchange. That's where he wants to keep it, I'm assuming, right? He wants to keep it there. He doesn't want to go on the ground with Oliveira, clearly. He doesn't want Oliveira getting a hold of him, right? That's not going to be good for Gaethje. He'll probably be submitted if that takes place. The best game plan for Gaethje in my opinion is a controlled yet pressure applying game plan right use your ferociousness to your advantage but be cautious do not be overzealous because he can't clip you too just like he clipped Chandler right? or he can't get your back just like he got Dustin's he has the ability to do that and know that if you hurt him that doesn't necessarily mean it's over unless you put his lights out it's not over until he's finished. So it's going to be difficult to put away Oliveira. Gaethje is inherently, like I said, he's inherently ferocious. His style is to come at you with all he's got. That's his style. And he essentially lives and dies by the sword. Right? He's willing to lose fights, it almost seems like, to continue that tradition. Or it's just his very nature. The very nature is to be tenacious, to be 
extremely ferocious in his approach, which is why he's been de defeated by people like Dustin and Eddie. He was too overzealous in his approach. And even the fight against Chandler, he beat Chandler because he was just the better striker. He just outwilled him. Because Chandler was going at it with him as well. It was a brawl. You can't fight Oliveira that way. He's too calculated. As far as who's the better striker, I'd probably go with Gaethje at this point. Although that is contentious. Oliveira is a very good striker and I think an underrated one I might add. I do think Dustin was a better striker than Oliveira, but Oliveira has good game plan implementation. Against Dustin, he used body shots to slow him down. It worked. I guarantee he does something similar with Gaethje. Could be leg kicks, could be body shots, something of the sort. To slow down the ferocious pace of Gaethje. To decrease the immediate danger that Justin Gaethje presents. That's going to be Elevera's game plan. So, essentially, you have an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. They have contrasting styles, right? And I doubt this will be a fight of standing and banging. I doubt it will be that. I don't think Elovera will allow that. He wants to win. Unfortunately, to be a champion, sometimes you have to win in boring means. Right? Look at Israel versus Yoel Romero. Yoel Romero was playing, was having these bullshit theatrical aspects put into the fight to try and kind of throw and bait Israel Adesanya. To try to throw him off and bait him. That doesn't work against a champion that wants to win at all costs. That's what Oliver wants to do. He wants to build a legacy. Gaethje doesn't have that mindset. His mindset is, I want to be a killer. I want to slaughter people when I fight them. That's his whole philosophy. And that's going to be to his detriment against the champions. Right? Champions like GSP. Champions like John Jones. Champions like Charles Oliveira. They don't play that game. They win fights. They build legacies. They create legendary names for themselves. Gaethje isn't that sort of character. And I think that's limited him. Because if he was able to control that ferocity, control that fire he has, he might be champion right now. He might be champion right now. Um, post Khabib. I don't think he beats Khabib either way. Khabib's a different animal. He's just blatantly better than you at wrestling. Once he has you, you're done. At least to our knowledge, no one else has been able to negate that or stop that. Right. So, this is going to be interesting. Game plans are going to mean everything. Right. Of course, Oliveira's going to have to be very careful with Gaethje. Gaethje can hurt you several ways. Your leg, you know, he has probably the best calf kick in the UFC. Your legs are, are at a very, very dangerous position. They're in a very dangerous position. He has the power to take you out. He has the power to hurt you. Great boxing, great power, great pace. It's going to be very, very intriguing what takes place in this one. All we know is Gaethje's definitely not scared to engage. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a gift and a curse, like I said. However, my prediction is this. Oliveira probably takes it. He's probably going to come with a very good game plan. He's going to implement it. He's better all around than Gaethje. Gaethje probably has the power advantage, but Oliveira is probably better all around, and he's going to use that to his advantage. He might even use Gaethje's overzealous approach to his advantage to kind of reel him in. So, it's going to be an interesting fight. If Gaethje wins, would I be surprised? No, I wouldn't. Gaethje's a very good fighter. He could hurt Oliveira. Oliveira's been hurt. He has been hurt. His defense isn't John Jones level in his prime, it's there is flaws in it. There all there are holes in his game. Dustin exposed it, dropped him, so did Chandler. So Gaethje definitely has that possibility at hand. And he's just ferocious, man. Once he sees you're hurt, he's going to just keep at it. If anyone can negate the time. Oliveira would have to recover to be Justin Gaethje. Once he hurts you, he just attacks. Right? He's going to keep attacking and attacking until you're done. Unless it's a Michael Chandler uh, Oliveira situation where the bell rings and it's over. Right? 30 more seconds, Chandler would be champ right now. 
if there's 30 more seconds on that timer in that round. Chandler would be champion right now. Arguably, right? He'd be champion right now unless he already, like, Gaethje would beat him like he did. So this is definitely an interesting matchup. It could go either way, but I lean towards Oliveira. I think Oliveira is special. I think he learns from his mistakes. I think he's a better all-around fighter. And he's going to fight smarter, so to speak. Inherently, he does, just in, from an empirical sense. We just see the fights. He's the smarter fighter. He's more willing to fight boring, to fight how he has to fight to win the fight. But Gaethje could win. He has various means to do so. But yeah, folks, that's my prediction. This is a good promo by K Film. Shout out to you. Let me know your predictions in the comment section below. Let's see how UFC 274 goes. It's going to be in the book soon. I'm very intrigued for it and very excited for it. But that's going to wrap it up. If you have any other recommendations, please let me know in the comments as well. And that's going to wrap it up. This is Jitteray signing out. Peace.